She's the disco dance queen known for 90s hits like Finally, Keep On Walking, and We Got a Love Thing. Yeah. <laughs> She's already dancing. Right? Get this started. <laughs> well, finally, it has happened. After a 14-year solo album hiatus, she's back on the scene with two new singles and an upcoming album. Here with more is the legendary CC Peniston. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey what's going on? Hey. Hey. Welcome back. But thank you. Wait a minute, where have you been? <laughs> We've been missing you. Oh, thank you. You know what? I've actually still been doing a, like, a lot of traveling, um, uh, stuff up in Europe. I've been in the studio, and something that, that people may not know is like right now I've been training actually for a, a fitness competition Ooh. right now, and I'm about to do a uh, bathing suit line, so I've been uh, pretty busy. You <laughs> look incredible. You've thank always you. been a beautiful woman, but my goodness, your waist <laughs> is this big. What have you been doing? Thank you. A lot of working out, getting in the gym. Gym, um, when I don't really feel like it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually went to a, a naturopathic doctor and she told me I had food allergies, which I had no idea. I was eating crab like three times a week, uh -oh, thinking no. I'm being healthy. <laughs> and I'm like, why do I still look bloated? <laughs> So what'd you cut out? Um, I had to actually cut out my, my yeast, anything white, sugar, flour, rice, you know. Um, I also cut out uh, crabs. I'm allergic to that. I'm allergic to papaya, cranberry, just different stuff. Oh, um, cheese, dairy, mm. eggs. I actually eat duck eggs. People duck don't know that. Yeah, duck I eat duck eggs. Do they okay. taste different from regular eggs? They don't. No. Really? I was scared of that too. I was like, duck eggs? <laughs> I was like, excuse me? You know, I've been eating regular eggs since uh -huh. I was little. And then when I found about that, she said, well, you can have that. And I was like, well, I'll try it. Because I really do love like a good omelet sometimes. So. What are some oh, of the how changes? How do you feel? Yeah. I feel great. I feel amazing right mm -hmm. now. And it's, it's, it's a good thing. I have not only worked on the outside, but I've been spiritually working on the inside. Because I don't feel like you can mm -hmm. make such a major change without making the change on the inside as well. So mm. it's really changed my will, and I feel like I, I've done it because, you know, I wanted to see how far, I, how far can I go, really. Mm. So, I mean, just far as uh, vocally on stage, I feel like I perform better. I'm not winded. I'm on the stage like, <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. my trainer has me doing all kind of cardio and stuff. So it's wow. been a win-win situation. So will you be modeling your own bathing suit line when it comes out? You know what? I put it like this. Next week, I'll uh -huh. be posting on all of my uh, social media. Um, I'll be posting my before and after and my, my competition bathing suits, but I'll get in one, but I'm not going to be the face of it. Okay. But I'm not afraid now because I've been doing the work, so yeah, I'll be good to go. good, so <laughs> you're, you're all right. You. Well, let's talk about the music. Sure. As Shannon said in the intro, finally, <laughs> you're back. Why were you ready to come back right now, specifically? Um, I felt it was right. I don't feel like you should come back if, if it's I felt like the song, Nothing Can Stop Me Now, had a familiarity to it mm -hmm. that people will remember vocally from yes. me. Like, mm -hmm. it, it sounded like me, the beat felt good, I thought the message was positive. So it was a win-win situation for me. And then, you know, Love love Don't Take Over, um, actually my boy George and MG Select, he hit me up, he's like, I have this song, and, and Frankie Knuckles remixed it for me. I said, what? Frankie I Knuckles? Said, That's yes. huge. Yes, nice. right before he passed, I was so blessed to get a, um, a, a remix for from him and I was like, it just felt like the stars are just lining up. You know, Aww. sometimes it just lines up and it happens and you don't, it, it doesn't feel like it's a whole lot of effort. It feels like, okay, this feels good. It's just yeah. happening. Yeah, well, nothing you can know? stop me now. That single, was that inspired by, about how you're feeling with your career right now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, you know, you when you, when you come back out and when you put your feet back out there, mm -hmm. you have to be ready to go. Is it because frightening to go back out there? I wouldn't say it's really frightening. Is it challenging? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because people are like, okay, does she still look the same? Does she still mm -hmm. sound the same? Sometimes they go, I'm going to go to the concert. Let me see the first song. She still sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand that because sometimes, you know, you go to hear your favorite artist and it's like, wait a minute, what mm -hmm. happened? You know, so I think people want to see not just the look and the sound. They want to see the same energy if you still love to do it. And for mm -hmm. me, I still love to do it. I'm oh, still the yeah. shower singer in the car, like with the tin on. Like, <laughs> I wonder if they can see me. Yeah. They can <laughs> jam it. <laughs> well, it's back to the 90s when you couldn't turn on the radio or go to a skating rink without mm -hmm. hearing your music. What was that like for you? Oh, it was such, it was a blessing, but it was just like, for me, I'm a little old Cece from Arizona, so it was like, I'm walking down the street, people are like, hi, Cece, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, hey, how y'all doing, you know? I had that haircut, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> Who did? Just so you know. Right? Thank yes. you. 
I had a little CC Peniston <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? I actually still have that outfit. Really? I can, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a picture with it now. Wow. But I still have it. It's in my closet. I found it, and I was like, I'm going to do a photo shoot with that. You so, know what I, I mean? I thought so, you were going to say, I still have that hair. <laughs> no, thank God I don't. No, not, not the style, the hair, right, because right, that right. would really be a problem. Right. <laughs> oh, God, I would expect a hashtag side eye on no, that, don't, actually. Don't worry. Can you I'm take us back, back Thursday? Take us, yeah, 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 there you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> Take us back to the first time you heard one of your songs on the radio. Yeah. What was that like for you? Oh, that you know what? Actually, let me take you to the to the visuals. Um, okay. The five heartbeats. Remember when they were mm -hmm. in the room? Yeah. And they mm -hmm. was like in the bed. They were like, oh, my song is on. I was in the kitchen at my mom's house, and I heard, da -da 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 yes. I was like, oh. I was like, finally it's on. It's on the radio. And I was like so excited. And all my family came in there because we were waiting. They said they were going to debut it on that mm. day. And then when I heard it, I was like, Okay, it's really happening now. It's it's oh. it's time. It's on. I was really excited. Yes. And then you were on a roller coaster. Yes. Goodness. My first trip was like to London, so it's like to go from Arizona to London. It was like, oh man, mm. a whole, yeah. whole new world. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Culture yes. shock. Really quickly, talk to us about how the music industry has evolved since you first entered the game, and what do you think of all these newfangled things like Twitter and social Facebook, media. social media, Instagram, <laughs> all of that. Well, because I'm running all of mine, it could be a lot of work sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but um, you didn't have to do that in the 90s. No, you mm -hmm. didn't. Um, but I think the blessing is that people actually get a chance to touch you. Yeah. They get a chance to reach out. Oh, you know, you can actually, hey, you can DM somebody. You can actually talk to somebody on Twitter. You can reach out and say, hey, I've got the song for you. Or you can, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it also, it's, it's a help to artists, but it's also a help to the fans who are trying to reach you. I think people get a chance to really look inside your life, see what you're doing yeah. on a regular basis. In the 90s, you couldn't do that. You're like, okay, are they still performing? What they doing so it's been a blessing in a lot of ways and in some ways it can be a little bit invasive because sometimes people can just come on your page and say whatever or you know mm -hmm. I've had that happen a couple of times and mm -hmm. you know but you know you I feel like you know if there's more good than bad then it's it's a win-win situation I wish it would have been out though when I had finally because it really would have been Ooh. Ooh. a whole nother thing hashtag <laughs> finally yes. yes. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so when will your album finally be out the new one okay actually um it's coming I was gonna put it out like like this year, but mm -hmm. because I've been training and traveling a lot, I haven't finished all the all the tracks that I'd like to. So I would say like probably March, February, okay. March, I'll have something okay. out 2015 along with the bathing suit line. I'll be doing fashion shows in, in different cities and come back here. I would fashion love to. week when it's in New York. Yeah, yes. I would love to because I'm I'm the thing that makes it different is the fact that it, I call it so unique because nothing is gonna be the same. Yeah. It's all, it could be pieces of jewelry that are broken or a belt that you broke and we put it on a bathing suit or Ooh. something like that or right. I put it on so it. So you have to come back and do a whole fashion show first I would then. love to. It's all a right. date. I would love to. New album, yes. hot bathing suits, we are there. <laughs> Everything. Thank you oh, so right. much. And throw back hairstyles as well. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, okay, I can, I can do that. <laughs> okay, we can go ahead we and hairspray it up. But I want to let you know, guys, uh, no, I'm here tonight doing Hal Jackson's Talented Team. This is why I'm really here tonight okay. at BB King's tonight. Ooh, Me, Melissa Morgan, Evelyn Chen, Pen King, Allison Williams. I was a Hal Jackson Talented to team when I was like 13 years old. Wow. So I started off in the pageant. So I just want to give a shout out to everybody and tell you to come on out and support and give that All love. All right. Well, there it so is. Much. Finally. Back. She's back. <laughs> yes. She was here. Thank you, Cece. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.